This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. Going on, my reefing fan, March here. This is Fragbox TV. Welcome to our store. Uh, if you haven't been to our store, we are here in Toronto. You can come check us out. Okay, what are we doing today's video on? Hmm. Let me start by saying I like to keep the store pretty clean, pretty organized. Everything sort of has a spot. Um, then I went to a place called Title Gardens in Ohio. Maybe you heard of it, and maybe I'll link it in the description below. And I was taught about what the definition of clean and organized was. And then I came back super inspired thinking this store needs an overhaul. Just little things. That place, ah, oh man, it really speaks to my um, ADD and ADHD and OCD. OCD, that's the word. Open this drawer to you. Let's show them our new frit. What? I just, it's just nice when stuff goes where things are supposed to go. No, close that drawer. Close that. Open the other one. No, we haven't got there yet. So I'm building a new frag station. Frag station? Frag room? Frag, what's the word? Frag station. Frag station. Yeah. Frag station in the basement. And I want to show you guys what we're doing because I think you guys would like to see it. And we, we got to mix it up. Sometimes we like to do videos on Tia's amazing, amazing Studio 12. Or maybe we'll talk to you about crabs that are eating my uh, clams. They are over here in our display tank. I went ahead and added another one. Maybe you saw the video when that stupid sponge decorator. Why is this so cloudy? Somebody must have just fed. Anyways, ate the, uh, the clam I had in here. So we like to try and mix it up. So this video is not going to be about corals. It's going to be about our haunted basement. Let me take you downstairs. Ah. <sighs> the ghost only comes out at night. Okay. Not so organized. Not so nice. No one ever gets to come down here and see under the skirt of frag box. What is going on here in the basement? We have some storage. Why am I still using the lens? Do we need it? Do we need the lens? I'll keep it on. We have some like extra product storage. Um, that needs to get overhauled. We have a system here where we farm out mostly soft corals, so anthids and LPS, some of the uh, cyphastrias. Basically any cyphastria or encrusting coral you buy in the store is gonna come um, out of the basement here. Some zoas, I just went through a thinning of these, so not as many as before. Um, some more zoas, because I'm a zoa nut. I swear I'm gonna get to what the point of the video is. I just, we don't come down here often, so I thought I'd kind of show you some of the uh, corals that we're growing. Box room, March's office. Man, this store is so small. We really squeeze like every square inch. I'm going even towards the ceiling here in the basement because I just don't want to move, you know? It's everything's set up here. We need more space. Um, anyway, some more of the Zoas that we're growing out that are doing fairly well down here. And just kind of like extra coral storage. Sometimes if we have stuff fragged, we want to let it sit for a couple of weeks before we bring it upstairs. Um, again, some more soft corals over here. And then the sump that runs the whole store. Anyways, this is what we really want to get into is this nonsense here um, where we do most of the fragging, if not all of it. It's just looking a little run down and decrepit and disheveled and all those fun words that you guys helped me used last time. Decrepancy is not a word. Our uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stage RODI system. This is gonna come off the wall. Um, I just started taking down all the uh, kind of labeled boxes that we have here and going through them. Anyways, this is all gonna get yanked out except for the sink. And then I'm gonna redo it all with these very nice cabinets that I picked up from a Swedish company. Uh, they do this custom cabinetry. They're really expensive. I'm just kidding. It's called Ikea. Hello, very inexpensive. Measured it out. Tia and Dylan had the pleasure of building them all. And these cabinets are gonna fill up this entire space. We're not gonna see any more wires. We're not gonna see anything anywhere. I want everything hidden behind doors. Super clean, super Tidal Gardens-esque. Now when I'm doing stuff, I ask, hmm, what would Than do? What would Than do? This is not how you do it. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna rip out this momentarily, and I may even swap these out because they gotta be coming on like, mm, I don't know, seven years old. Is it time? Do they work? Sure. But presentation, I think is quite important. Not just for me because I like things a certain way, but just for the staff to show them how things are done, how we keep things orderly and clean. And then, it, well, you know what? When it looks better and it's clean, it lasts longer and it gets more attention and care than just letting stuff go to shit. Um, 
yeah, so let me get started with that and then we'll come back and look at the first part of the project which will be right here. Underneath I have this old frag tank that's full of muriatic acid and what we use this for is to clean a lot of our racks here in the store. They just get covered with Coraline over time. That's also going to get revamped. I'm going to build a new custom acrylic tank here with a pump that runs in line to help sort of mix all the muriatic and that will just be sort of an extension of the project and then I'll move on to the whole new frag table with a custom acrylic. I'm doing all the acrylic work myself. When I say custom, what I mean to say is March is going to build by hand a acrylic um, basin, sort of, kind of like homemade little sink, and it'll run six feet so we can set up both our band saws at the same time instead of having them sort of hidden away like this. We have five of them here in the shop because those are the, basically the tools of our trade, and I'm going to run a new six foot frag bench, frag station, from here and then it's going to actually have a bulkhead and pour into the sink with a hose so that we can grab the hose and then shh, spray it all down okay enough talking start working all right all right as my friend jerry always tells me demo 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 we got it all down i'm just going to put up sort of like a new header ledger board whatever you want to call it and then i'm going to start putting up the top ones i'm going to reinstall this i think i'm going to change it it's about time i think i installed these when i first came to the store and they're just they work. Maybe they'll be for sale if somebody doesn't mind. Maybe I powder coat them and just, no, no, you know what? We're doing new. Just do new. Just do it right. Boom, done. We have the first set of lovely IKEA cabinets up on the wall. I decided to change out the entire RODI, all nine stages. Our old one is for sale. There's nothing wrong with it. It works. It's got almost new cartridges. It just needs some TLC. Sink is going to remain. It got a nice cleaning. I'm going to start to work on Man, it looks really good. So happy with it. Labels, very important. We are six, sometimes seven people in here. So just knowing where everything is really helps. Now we're gonna work on the next part, which is gonna be our frag station here. It's gonna extend um, from there over to here. So it's gonna be, I think, just over six feet. And then again, I'm gonna continue the wall cabinet. So it's gonna be a whole nice contained corner. And I'm going to order the plastic to make this, but let me go ahead and yank all this out. Look what's going on under here. Guys, I'm giving you a really in-depth tour. It's just a mess. This is not is not how we want to do it maybe you're watching this because you're a super fan and you just like our videos maybe you're watching it because you're trying to get ideas for what your frag station should look like maybe you're thinking about opening your own coral store one day i don't know i don't know why you're watching it maybe you want to comment below because if you're watching this far it means you're into it okay it's really starting to come together i have the new kind of frag base in piece and then i'm going to build a new tray here just for our bandsaw. I'm going to redo the lights so that I'm going to have string lights go all the way across with this as well illuminated. Um, we have some nice drawers now, a lot more space. It's looking really, really nice. Let me go ahead and make this. Um, I cut this on a table saw. This is just some plexiglass acrylic and then I use my tools of the trade. If you ever want a video to see how I build stuff like sumps, um, frag tanks, Anything out of acrylic, anything you can make, it's actually pretty easy. This melts the plastic together. Time, it's done. I left this side open because I'm actually going to drill a hole here so that we can easily just grab this and spray her down and get all the gunk out from when we're fragging. I made this piece a little bit taller because sometimes it just shoots some of the like pizza, uh, pizza, I'm hungry, uh, pieces of coral back and I it, it'll just make it easier than having to clean all this time. I put some like cheap chloroplast plastic here just on top of the brick so that again just super easy to clean because fragging is quite a messy project and then I should have showed you how I did this because I was just you know I have the camera out, I'm already doing it so I hit it first with the weld on three and then once it sets I go back in with this one and it basically just welds the plastic together this one's kind of goopy and I'll just go there in there I hope you can see on the camera in the joints just like that da, 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 da. And that's really easy and just fill up the whole joint and then I'll even just prop it up sometimes because I want the, the glue sort of to go in that direction I'll let that dry then I'll prop up this side so I get it to go this way and then again coming this way you can use it to make just about anything this will be all watertight with this solvent it's gonna literally just melt the two together they're gonna become one piece and that way we can make a mess in here and that'll be our our side to just clean it out Okay, reefing fam, that's it. It's more or less done. Let me show you how I finish this 
awesome new fragging station. Um, we did some lights underneath here just to get it really nice and bright when we are cutting. I built the tray that's all finished and I left this side open so that when we're here making a big mess and there's lots of water and the guts of the corals, um, I can just easily grab a hose and then everything will go right down the drain and very easy to keep it um, clean. We started labeling everything. I really like just having a spot for everything. I know it's kind of OCD, but we're six people here in the store. So, you know, if everything just goes back where it's supposed to go back, then the next person is able to just find it. So that was something I really um, took away from, oh, sorry, my OCD is kicking in from um, Tidal Gardens. And what I did under here where we clean our racks, so like the racks in the store, they just naturally get full of algae. These are like our numbered racks. So what we do is we throw them through a muriatic bath um, in this new tank that we had built. And I went with a Siche pump that I can run externally. So the idea behind this is that I can fill this up with, oh, uh, I can fill this up here with um, our muriatic acid and some water. And it, everything that you put in there is gonna come out nice and clean. So the pump will suck it up. And then what I did is just do this as a simple loop and it'll basically just keep turning the water around and keep the acid moving on the racks and then if we want to drain it what i did here is i put this other valve so i just opened up this one here and look at how clever this is do, 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 do. right down i just tapped into the um the drain here of the sink so i cut this and then i just put a uh like a t basically so i can just pump if i open up th this one here and shut this one you can see or you can envision that the water is just gonna drain do, 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 and go down the drain. So it'll make it really easy for the staff. It means we can keep this um, a lot more clean. CJ makes great pumps. It's a little bit expensive for the job, but I just wanted something reliable and I can use it externally. And it's made in Italy, so being Italian, what up, ciao. Um, very happy with that. So I think uh, that's it. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I'm pretty happy that I was inspired by Tidal Gardens to even do this. Uh, I have to run one more cable from that. I'm going to hide it nicely behind here and then plug it into there. If not, maybe the apex. All of this is now controlled off of our apex. I left one door here just for electrical. So we just kind of hide our mess uh, in there. And then that, um, that goes right over to the apex. So this is all on a timer now in case one of the staff members forgets to turn the lights off when they're leaving. Um, it doesn't matter because it's all going to turn off. My old RODI is up for grabs if somebody wants one. I think I've lowered the price now to like 70 bucks. It's a nine stage system. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just old. It just needs a little bit of love. The cartridges aren't even that bad. And then what's next? What's next project here in the store? I'm always up to something. There's always room for little improvements now that this is done. Uh, it's not going to be that fun. It's going to be some shelving stuff over here. Um, there's just a lot going on. It's a mess. There's people want to come down here in the basement. This is why you don't come down here. This is a insurance claim waiting to happen. There's lots to trip and fall over and we do not need customers down here. I know that you guys want to see what's going on and what we're growing and all this fun stuff. There's so much in here that you guys don't get to see. But maybe I can just come down here with the camera a little bit more often and show it to you. I think that's it. We're going to wrap up this video of Fragbox TV. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you got any questions, you can always reach us at fragboxcorals at gmail.com and we will see you guys back here on the next episode and the next project that we decide to do. Bye for now.